Welcome back. All right, so arbitration, the deadline came and went. 24 players have elected salary arbitration. Now, arbitration hearings are from July 27th through August 11th. At least, that's when they're going to get scheduled. Very, very few, if any, are going to end up actually going to arbitration. Arbitration is, is basically, it's a pressure point. It's that you can sit down in front of an arbitrator as a player and say, I think I'm worth this. My owner's being, or the owner, the, the GM's being cheap. The GM could sit down, I guess the owner's being cheap too. The GM can sit down then and say, I don't think the player's worth this amount because here's the problems with this game. Uh, it is an ugly setup. It really is. Uh, we have seen contentious arbitration hearings lead to kind of ugly divorces between players and teams. So teams will be trying to avoid it. Now, there are players who don't elect arbitration. There's various good and bad reasons for that. Uh, Line A, Dubois, uh, Nick Roy in Vegas. Uh, Cunnan and Caleb Jones are notables that did not elect arbitration. It may be the arbitration hearing they don't think is going to give them much more money. It may be that they're having good negotiations with the GM. They figure they can get a deal done anyways. It may be they want to accept the qualifying offer. So once you go to arbitration, you're not accepting, accepting the qualifying offer and leverage. You might be in the midst of negotiations and if you decide to file for arbitration, you may lose some leverage. Now, in my experience as well, you may gain some leverage by going for arbitration, but it, it can definitely make things uglier. So the players electing arbitration today are as follows. Appleton out of Winnipeg, uh, Bear and Lajoie in Carolina, uh, Brat, Tice Thompson and Vanacek out of the New Jersey Devils, Lawson Krause for Arizona, uh, Morgan Geeky for Seattle, uh, Matthew Joseph for the Ottawa Senators, Kakinen and the newly acquired Lawrence for San Jose are going to arbitration. Kapanen for Pittsburgh. Uh, Kolasar for Vegas. Uh, Calgary is going to be busy trying to prevent these guys from going to arbitration. Shillington, Mangiapane, and Phillips. Uh, Lundestrom for the Anaheim Ducks. McEwen for the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, Mikola did file and then signed with St. Louis uh, shortly before the list became public. Uh, Paul Yarvey and Yamamoto for the Oilers. So there's still discussions of whether or not Paul Yarvey's getting traded, where he's going to go, all this other fun stuff. But he's filed for arbitration. Uh, Trennan with the Nashville Predators. Uh, Wallman and Zaka for the Boston Bruins. So newly acquired Pavel Zaka is going to arbitration. Again, most of these guys are going to get signed. Uh, they might get signed over the next couple of days, the next week. But once we get towards July 27th through August 11th, once those hearing dates are coming up, there's more of a sense of urgency between the player and the GM to get this done. We don't want to go to the hearing and we don't want an arbitrator being in charge of how much money our player gets. This is why so many potential RFAs ended up going to the market instead because qualifying offers might have been high and the looming threat of arbitration was out there. So you just don't give them a qualifying offer. They go to the market and then as unrestricted free agents, you can just sit down and talk to them and not have to worry about this uh, looming out there or qualifying offers that you think might be a little bit high being a problem. So uh, we'll see what happens with these guys. Let me know in the comment section below which one you're anxious to see uh, get, get signed and no longer on the list. Uh, also, the Toronto Maple Leafs today have extended Pierre Engvall. Uh, he gets one year $2.25 million for Toronto. So while Toronto's still wheeling and dealing, uh, there's all kinds of talk about uh, Sandy and this, Sandy and that. I haven't seen anything. Um, of course, offer sheets are still a thing. And one thing is that for players who don't file, they can still sign an offer sheet. Once you go to arbitration, the offer sheet is off the table. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.